Welcome back. Stocks looking to snap a three day losing streak as big tech and falling unemployment claims are boosting the markets today. The Nasdaq now turning positive for the week. Let's bring in Gibbs Wealth Management President Aaron Gibbs and Strategic Wealth Partners Investment Strategist Luke Lloyd. Aaron, let's go ahead and start with you because we saw those three days of selling on inflation fears. And yesterday, the Fed hinted that at some future meeting, if it's watching these targets um, and it senses there's a problem, it might consider <laughs> tapering. So it seems long off on the horizon, but the markets weren't really too happy about it. Yet today we see a little bit of a turnaround. Where do we go from here? Yeah, I think it's interesting that actually we're seeing a bit of a turnaround, though we see positive economic numbers, which might make the Fed talk about tapering a little earlier. Mm. Uh, so uh, markets are, it seems the equity markets aren't completely in line with what we're seeing in the bond markets, and, and there just seems to be a lot of fears around the word inflation without really understanding what's going on and, and taking a look at how the bond markets are reacting as well. So I think today is really just a positive day, a relief day from three down days. We were heavily risk off. You saw de-risking across cryptos, across uh, large cap growth. Uh, and so I think today is just a, a pause and a bounce back. Well, Luke, what do you think the bond market is telling us? The 10-year note sitting at 1.6% right now. Um, you know, is this signaling that, um, that we're going to see in inflation in the near future? Or as um, uh, the Fed chair thinks right now, that this is, this is you know, transitory problem? Jackie, here's my take on inflation and interest rates. Will inflation get out of hand eventually? Absolutely. We just printed trillions of dollars. But in the short term, you need to ask yourself if the Federal Reserve will risk hiking interest rates too soon, which would halt the economic recovery. Listen, unemployment is still sitting at 6%. We've never shut down the economy, given out trillions of dollars of stimulus, and then reopened the economy back up. I honestly don't believe the Federal Reserve wants to be responsible for slowing the economy too soon. They would rather let the economy get smoking hot. So for that reason, interest rates will remain low for the foreseeable future, which is good for stocks. Okay, that's an interesting take on it. Um, you know, Aaron, the last time Fed Chair Jerome Powell did try to raise rates because the fundamentals of the economy were improving, you know, the markets kind of they slapped him on the wrist, if you will. Yes, those taper tantrums. Uh, it, it, yeah, uh, you know, stocks do not like uh, having their cash flow, their, you know, that tap of free money turned off or even reduced. And so, um, anything that could hint at that uh, certainly will send the markets down. And so, uh, it, you know, right now we're definitely seeing heightened volatility within the equity markets, you know, where the equity markets are reacting st more strongly than the bond markets. Uh, and so I think it's really just, again, more about fears, the uncertainty of opening, how is this actually going to play out? Um, and we're seeing that higher volatility within the stock market. Well, if the market, Lou, continues to, to march higher, and we do get that smoke in market that you were referencing there, and Aaron's talking about reopening, which we know can only be a positive for this market, I can think of a couple of things um, that could pour some cold water on it. Inflation was one, but let's put that over here for a moment. The other would be um, uh, the new tax program. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Taxes rising is never good for the stock market and not good for the middle class at all. But I think it really comes down to a lot of these unemployment benefits as well. I mean, we're still giving out a ton of money, but 20 states right now are going to end unemployment benefits going forward. So the economy right now is ready to go full force ahead. But Democrats right now in Congress um, is just kind of artificially not allowing that to happen. So I think what needs to happen right now is we just need to fully open back up. I just came from Las Vegas and Las Vegas was fully packed. Um, so many people, the casinos were crowded, um, the airports were crowded, um, the restaurants were crowded, everything was ready to go. It was a beautiful sight to see. So I think if we get there all around, the economy is ready to go full force. Now, like you said, taxes, on the other hand, are going to hinder that going forward. But I think a lot of it is kind of priced into the market um, as long as we don't get a crazy tax plan going forward. But middle class America is always the one that pays for America. And if we get a high inflation environment down the road combined with, with taxes, yes. that's never a good scenario because if inflation, if wages don't keep up with inflation, 
inflation, that's going to be a really bad scenario. Yeah, it's a double whammy. The wages might go up in the short term to make up for some of these labor shortages, but ultimately, when you sort of go through the whole cycle, then people get laid off and the wages come down and it becomes a problem. Um, just want to finish with this and Aaron, get your take real quick on the action that we saw in crypto yesterday. The market's coming back a little bit um, along with the broader markets. It almost seems like, as one guest of ours suggested, that this has just become a regular, a new asset class. It's a risk on risk off trade. Exactly. And, you know, you know, what really kicked that off was China saying that, you know, with Chinese companies shouldn't accept the cryptos. And so that's a big hindrance for it being widely accepted as a, as a real usable currency and some other tweets as well. So, um, you know, it's it is a very risk on risk off trade. Today is definitely a risk on day and it's heading back up. So uh, I think uh, the good thing we've really seen is that even though when it goes down, we haven't seen margin calls force investors to start selling other asset classes. It's still contained. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that's one thing that equity markets can be reassured that it's not going to make, if people have to start selling their cryptos, it's going to have to fall into your equity markets. That's a really good point. Aaron, great to see you.